Welcome back to daytime, everyone. Is it possible to have a healthy-ish creme brulee this holiday season? <laughs> <laughs> Say what? That sounds like an oxymoron. <laughs> I know. Today we are joined by a cardiologist who says yes. Really? Yes. You're kidding. All right, Dr. Michael Fincer is here, and you're going to tell us how to make a healthy creme brulee. Well, it's, first of all, it's great to be here. Thanks for having well, me back, back again. Welcome back. We appreciate it. And I learned long ago from Ebenezer Scrooge that there is no salvation in deprivation during the holiday season. I agree. <laughs> oh, okay. We can enjoy delicious who treats like this. Oh, who okay. doesn't love creme brulee? Oh, and, and things that bring us such joy and tidings of great taste to our table if we follow a simple rule. But man, and, you're a doctor. And, and that's how I know how to follow all these great okay. principles. All right. Simple timing and proportion. We want to serve something like this at the end of our festive feast. And by doing that, we're not trying to make it a whole meal unto itself. Right. And therefore, we can decrease the serving size from, say, seven or eight ounces down to four ounces. And it's the perfect cap to oh, a delicious sure. meal. And this wonderful, delicious, let's, decadent let's dessert. Let's get cooking. Smells great it already. is uh, easy to do with some everyday ingredients. We've got one and three quarter cup of cream. We've got a half cup of sugar. We've got a quarter cup of brandy and the contents of one vanilla bean. We've got eight egg yolks and a quarter teaspoon each of fresh ground nutmeg and fresh ground cinnamon. Right. For our rum caramel topping, we've got a cup of sugar and a quarter cup of dark rum. He's not skimping on no, the ingredients. <laughs> and we're gonna start by preheating our oven to 325 degrees. Uh -huh. And I've got a water bath set up there. If you can go ahead and pour the water in, those are around our ramekins. The, around the ramekins. Around right? that. Okay. And about halfway up the side of the ramekins, and that's where we're gonna go ahead and cook our brulees. Okay. Mm. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start with here with our cream. <laughs> And our brand. Not even half and half. He's going for the full uh, If you're going to enjoy it, you might as well go all, all, all the, the way. way. That is exactly right. And we're going to have something absolutely fantastic Ooh, and delicious. Yeah. That was vanilla, right? That was the contents of the vanilla bean. We're going to use oh, fresh okay. vanilla. Uh, absolutely Decadent. wonderful. And while that's cooking, we're going to go ahead and just hand whip these egg yolks, if you could do that I for me. I shall help with go that. For it. And yes. we want to change the color from that orange yellow so it becomes sort of a nice pale color. It's kind of like a Dijon mustard. It is, a light, <laughs> a light yellow co uh, color. And we want to hand whip it. We don't want to use an electric beater because it adds too much air and that'll change oh. the consistency ah, of the okay. So once we've got that mixed and we've got some cream and sugar all dissolved here, now I'll need you to keep whisking. Whisking. Because what we're doing here do is called tempering. And this is very, very important because this raises the coagulation temperature of the egg yolks from about 160 to about 180, 85 degrees. That's All doctor right. speak right there, coagulation. <laughs> well, this is, yes, yes, and important in cooking, too, okay. because if we don't pay attention to that, we wind up with scrambled eggs and cream. Right. And that is not a good dessert. As much as I would love that for breakfast, you would. yeah, I don't want it for dessert. And there we go. Okay. And now that this is all done, uh -huh. I've got one more very important step, which is if one of you could hold that. Holding. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and strain this. One of the great things about creme brulee is that velvety smooth texture. Nice. Mm. And this just assures that we don't have any lumps or bumps in our creme brulee. And or it vanilla beans. And smooth. Yeah, we don't want a big piece of bean. Right, or a big piece of spice. That would be not a good <laughs> eat. So we just take that and there we go there. You could just drink it like that, couldn't you? This, well, that's why it's eggnog. You it's would. essentially <laughs> you would. eggnog. That's right. Now, if you can go ahead and just fill each of those up about two thirds of the way. There's six ounce ramekins, so that'll be our four ounce serving. And what we're going to do is take that and bake it for about 40 minutes. Now, the way we can tell the brulee is done yes. is that when we pull it out, the size, and this one, here's one that's not coated but cooked, is very firm like this. But the middle should still jiggle a little bit. How do you know it's jiggle, jiggly? Well, when you come it out, it'll jiggle just like Santa's can you belly. Feel it? You can see it. Oh, when you okay. pull it out, okay. the sides will be set in that middle. It's like Santa laughing. His sides are firm and his belly goes ho, 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 and jiggles a little bit. Okay. And so when they're ready, you bring our jolly desserts out. So they and come set out. Them down. Uh, you just want to let them cool. Right. Cover them. Put them in the ice box till you're ready to serve. When you're ready to serve, you take some of that caramel. You're going to put it on the brulee like this and just swirl it. And you can cook it in a nice decorative serving thing. Here we did a little teacup. Isn't this lovely? And they are ready to enjoy. Oh, Doc, Dr. Fenster, you, thank you, you very, very, thank very you. much. Thank you. The fruits of your labor. Well, this is the breakfast of champions. Here. Oh, you're right. Absolutely. It's hard on top, and then you right. break through into the goodness. Okay, go oh. to daytimeonline.tv, and you will find the recipe there under recipe mm. archive. Dr. Fenster, no, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Okay, we're going to coagulate for a while and take a break. Still ahead, it's a it's, matter of life and death. Yes, we'll talk with Dr. Drew Pinsky about teens and the abuse of prescription drugs. I oh, know it's going to splash all over me if I break through.